Good evening, traders, and welcome to weekly Forex recap. Today is February 11th. My name is Nenad. And as always, uh, each week we will have our and we have our session recap. So today again, Euro dollar, pound, Australian dollar, gold, uh, Bitcoin, and your questions, my answers. Before we start, quick disclaimer explain that CFD and Forex are leveraged products can result in losses that exceed your deposits. So those are not suitable for everyone. Have in mind that everything you see here is my personal opinion only. Trading rules. Uh, give price a breathing room. We enter in the zone. It's called the POC zone. Always add a spread to your stop loss. My uh, suggested uh, uh, my suggested add to the spread is uh, seven pips. So usually it doesn't matter if you trade with ECN or the other account. Just uh, add uh, seven more pips to cover for different brokers, spreads, and so on. So seven pips is basically what you can actually go with. Uh, for equities, commodities, and all other markets also, always include a spread to your stop loss and always add the spread so you can uh, trade with more room. Uh, on our website, elitecurrency.com, you have also a list of our uh, supported brokers. Uh, also, for uh, breakout trades and scalp trade levels, uh, you can trade uh, independently of any position. Positional trades that you do are trend trades. Alternative trades are called counter trend trades. For equities and commodities, also protect your profits around important uh, levels and use trading stop. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Add these levels to your system, pay attention to trends, so you might find other trends made entries, and pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have made on my uh, on my setups. Yeah, Ali, you can. Uh, he's saying that he has always 10 pips. I say that 10 pips is okay. You can add 10 pips to all of your trades and uh, you are good to go. So 10 pips just to cover for all possible uh, possible uh, differences in brokers, uh, spreads, and so on. These are results for the previous week. Euro dollar 20 pips, pound dollar 20 pips, the Australian dollar 50 pips, dollar yen didn't qualify. The Bitcoin dollar alternative buy was good for 120 pips. Gold was good for 60 pips, total pip pool was 270. Trade of the week was the Bitcoin dollar. Of course, uh, these are all uh, hypothetical results. I mean, the maximum available number of pips you could have made with setup. So maybe you made a little bit less or a little bit more. This is just uh, the overall pip pool. Euro dollar, this vertical line presents the time of the webinar. When I give, gave you the setup, uh, you can see that the, it dropped towards the POC zone. It rejected from 11. It made a double, triple bottom and then surged downward side. The GBP dollar also, it made a triple, quadruple bottom here and then spiked to the upside before going down. The Australian dollar rejected uh, from our POC zone. It was a very good rejection straight from the POC zone, a little bit of a drawdown, then straight towards 72.64. And you can see profits were made here. The dollar yen uh, was good if you went into uh, buy mode. So uh, actually, uh, this was, uh, well, I cannot say that it qualified for entry, but if you went with a buy trade here, it was not close to, to uh, our zone. But then again, maybe uh, this is a bullish pattern, V-shaped uh, reversal here. It made some nice pips to the upside. Actually, in our trading room on ECS Live, uh, we had some trades also closed at break even on a dollar yen. Yeah. Just to let you know, today we had five trades, four trades went in profits, one trade is in profit, and we still didn't close it. So, yeah, you can always check our results. Uh, we have the spreadsheet, my Facebook account, and so on. So, go to our website, and you will see a lot of good stuff there. Yeah, this is the BDC dollar. Uh, sell 35.50, stop loss 36.50, TP 3435. Buy trade 3435, stop 3335, TP 3550. So basically, the BDC dollar, well, it was excellent trade. If you went with a counter trend trade that happened exactly here, it was a very, very good trade. And finally, gold, uh, we had a um, actually a buy position. 
that was uh, initiated here, double bottom, bang, exactly at this spot. So you see all these predictions uh, came uh, exactly as we expected. So, uh, well, it just depends how much you uh, pro how much profits you protected. Uh, especially, guys, if you trade intraday, it's crucial that protect your profits because you know one hour time frame is subjected to both ups and downs. Uh, a one hour time frame requires higher time frame momentum. Momentum only. It's in my opinion, it's the only way uh, how you can trade one hour successfully is to ride. A higher time frame momentum on uh, one hour and that is what i do with uh, well camarilla MACD, mtf the best template so far you can find uh, i will show you the website now but have in mind that these prices will not remain for long we will definitely raise the price of camarilla uh, MACD, especially because we invested a lot of effort and time and everything is shared the uh, results so on and yeah definitely it will it will go up uh, this is it uh, our website and here you can go to elite uh, currency camera mcd and uh, the mtf the best module i mean all are good but i like this uh, module but also the full the full price will definitely go up uh, six months live will also go up yeah so definitely definitely very very good systems guys and you definitely need to try it i that is what i really think definitely go for it guys yeah uh, we just need to add this uh, here uh, on uh, <clears throat> camarilla make the mtf because this is the main module uh, we are we, we are doing the, re the redesign of this so yeah the mtf excellent results okay uh let's get back to our uh, session recap so uh, now we'll show you euro dollar uh, euro dollar uh, so uh, euro dollar is in downtrend uh, sell position uh, 1340 stop loss 1380 tp 1230 alternative sell 12 uh, yeah this is actually alternative buy let me correct it uh, 1230 stop loss 1190 tp 1280 and this is how it looks here mm. Yeah, Goran is saying, uh, I made 30 pips on your analysis, Euro Yen. Yeah, I mean, that is uh, that is what we traded also here uh, on our ECS Live trading room. I actually made 12 pips on this, but yeah, I'm okay. Because basically, I entered here and I decided to just close the trade. But if I had entered here after this signal, yeah. Hey, I would I would actually made more, but it's okay. Yeah, we, we had a very, very good trace today. So yeah, the, the MTF is really, really good. Really. Especially, yeah, these signals like 80, 90 percent accuracy. And sometimes it's 70, but most of the time it's more than that. So very good results indeed. So yeah no probs i'm very glad that you made mine really i mean that that's my my job actually to provide you with with best possible signals guys um uh, so yeah euro dollar uh is uh here uh the gbp dollar uh downtrend uh, 2940 sell stop loss 2980 tp 2815 buy trade 28 yeah i just forgot to show you actually the euro dollar yeah i expect this to reject here a lot of confluence so some reversal patterns t89 pattern dark cloud pin bar shooting star inverted hammer whatever guys here bang this could be a very good trade from this spot and the price is now below monthly L4, and it indicates a continuation of bearish trend on euro dollar. So yeah, I've been trading with Camarillas for last last eight years, and I don't have any plans to switch to another pivot point because Camarillas are giving me money, guys. So yeah, I'm just answering a few questions from uh, some emails that I received. Why I don't use other 
pivot points. I'm not saying that other pivot points are not good, but uh, the point of trading guys is to make money, not to make a theory. Everyone can theory size, everyone can speak blah, blah, and publish a book without any result, right? The point of Forex trading is to make money. Pips, that's money, right? So that is what, what my job is and my aim is to educate you, to trade, live trade with you, and uh, actually to make you happy here, not to make a theory without any practice. So the, my answer to that is, can realize make me money? I don't need anything else. Okay, next one. Uh, yeah, I will answer your questions, guys. Just let's go with with uh, setups. Then we have GBP dollar. 12, 12, uh, 29 sell, 29.80 stop loss, TP 28.15. Buy is around 28.15. Stop is 27.80. TP is 28.80. So uh, this is the GBP dollar. Mm, let me just check something. Okay. Yeah, questions, guys, just after I finish with the uh, slides. 29.40, this is the sell for the GBP dollar. Confluence here, this is the zone. Uh, you see how good, how many signals are there. Camarilla make the MTF, guys. This is the MTF, multi time frame system. Very, very good signals. So, <clears throat> again, the zone, confluence zone here. We have a trend line also here. So I expect the price to reject if it goes up. Potential counter trend trade around in between 28.2, 28.15, somewhere here. If it overshots the ATR, I think it could actually go up a little bit. Okay, so this is the GBP dollar. The Australian dollar, now it's in downtrend. 71.15 sell, 45 stops, 30 is the tp alternative buy 70 30 69 90 tp 70 90. so 71 15 yeah here the australian dollar okay yeah now it's actually i need to switch now give me a few seconds guys yeah sometimes I need to restart. I mean, it happened today. So I will just give me a few seconds. I will wait with this and we'll restart. Probably I need to clear the cache. So, yeah, okay. We need to wait, but it doesn't matter. I have the other platform also, so we'll open it if, if need be, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see how it performs now, guys. XC. And we have FXDD. I will open the FXDD here. Why not? Also FXDD. So if one is not behaving quite right, the other should. This is FXDD, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. So let's get back to my MTF, the Australian dollar. Okay, the Australian dollar. Here. Again, we had good signals here with the Australian dollar. Uh, rejection here, rejection there. We actually trading are trading the Australian dollar Swissy around 10 pips in profit now but uh, again guys uh, well uh, as i'm saying this was also a good signal uh hi Ilya. actually the resolution is good i think that you can uh, see my picture and screen uh, the resolution is full full hd so it should be very clear can be better than this 
but I know why you don't see a picture. You missed just results, nothing much. I will roll the slides a little bit later. So, yeah, and I also said that showed that we made a lot of good profits. A lot of trades came into profits. Today, five out of five trades. Our winners, actually, we have one trade running yet. It's in positive territory. We will see how it will end. But generally speaking, 100% success today. Yeah, so this was Australian dollar. And I think that the Australian dollar could reject from this zone here. This is the POC zone. 89, watch for T89 pattern, dark cloud cover, uh, shooting star, pin bar rejection. This is the zone where a price could reject. Alternative buy could kick in around this level, weekly L3 retest, ATR low. So uh, just try to watch potential reversal patterns from this spot, guys, and I think that it should be uh, fine. Yeah, I also do. What, I, what I'm doing also, guys, is trying to see some professional setup here in my office. And uh, I think in the next 15 days, uh, I will uh, get a professional microphone and also I will uh, make a better lightning here. So my face and myself, I, I will definitely look better uh, here on the screen. But it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, I'm not doing a photo shooting for some fashion company. I'm, I'm a trader. But again, it doesn't matter. I know that you probably know if you follow my Instagram profile, you know that I had some photo shoots, but it's not my job, of course. I'm, I'm doing that just for fun. But I always say I'm a trader and I will be a trader until I die, guys. That is my mission. I'm in love with this job. And I really don't have any plans to switch. And I will always be there. You need to remember that. And one of the things why I like to use the camera is I want you to look me in my eyes, guys, here, exactly, to see what I'm talking, to see the passion, what I have, and uh, to always feel the positive energy that I'm actually transferring to you all, no matter if you're watching me live or you're watching me on YouTube. Yeah, don't forget. We have a seminar also here uh, in Utrecht. First, it's uh, Netherlands. So Netherlands uh, uh, in uh, five days. Yeah, you can you can actually sign up on our website. Let me just give you a quick. Uh, yeah, I think you already know that, guys. But just in case, uh, let me just. Okay, so. We have uh, four seminars here, guys. Okay. So Utrecht, Netherlands, February 16th. Then Ljubljana, Slovenia here. And also, guys, in Czech Republic. Chris will meet you there. I will not be to Czech Republic. I have a lot of, lot of things to do, so I will skip this. But Chris will be there. Okay. Uh, both of us will be in Utrecht. Okay, February 16th, then uh, Czech Republic, March 9th, then Croatia, March 14th, okay, and Serbia, March 16th. Okay, so a lot of good stuff to come, a lot of webinars, education, showing real uh, life results, my fix book, everything should be transparent, guys. Okay. Yeah. So that was that was quick uh, off topic here. So yeah, we'll get back right now. You see, guys. So that's it again. Mm, what I want to tell you is the Australian dollar is good, but it's low pair. So you need to have patience for that. I mean, if you're a wise trader, you know when I started. Everyone was talking about euro dollar because that was the time of uh, global financial crisis, GFC, right? And, you know, everyone were trading like euro dollar and so on. But I can say really that if you're an advice trader, you can also go with the Australian dollar with uh, some uh, slow moving pairs. That is why you need the ATR indicator, guys. Uh, the ATR indicator, you can really take a look uh, how it looks uh, and it's important one. So this is the ATR indicator here. All pairs that are less than 70 pips 
of the average JTR for last five days. You can trade it, guys. Like if you're an wise trader, safely. They're slow, and with that, you you won't be like uh, panicking if a trade goes wrong because it's most or more or less th those are slow slow movers. So you know, I I I I really think that you should start with these slow moving pairs if you're an wise trader. Okay, let's uh, get back to our main webinar, so our main subject actually. Uh, the Australian dollar yen uptrend 109.90 buy 109.50 stop 110.50 TP sell 110.70 stop 110.90 TP 110.20. This is also the dollar yen. Uh, last week I closed it uh, at break even. I actually we had some signals and uh, it was ranging. But you see again, Camarilla make the MTF, the best ever system method, guys. I mean. Uh, and in my opinion, we worked a lot on this. And thanks to Carlos, our friend and coder, uh, he also made us excellent indicator that combined all the rules uh, that I put into the indicator itself, into the method, and we had even two more filters. So this is how, I mean, I hate to say, I, I don't like to say money-making machine, but uh, we should not be very, very excited always. Market is always right, so let's keep it calm. But again, just guys, all these good signals. You see how many good signals. And I take these dollar yen signals here. Sometimes, guys, like this one, it can be very, very slow. So I really tend to close it at break even if I don't see an action. But then the action happened today. I missed this one, but it was very, very good. Watch this, guys. T89, 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 T89. Triple, quadruple confluence here, T89. A lot of rejections, guys. Diamonds, arrows. I really like this one. So uh, if the price drops a little bit, I think that we could actually uh, sell it. Okay. Uh, you also need to know that uh, around 11070, you should watch for some reversal patterns. Uh, reversal patterns around this level. Here, 50 to 70. Because if you go to daily time frame, you will see that uh, here. You see order block, order block, double bottom, small order block here, retest of this level, close to monthly time frame. So watch reversal patterns there. Okay, uh, next one. The BDC dollar uptrend 35.50 buy 34.50 stop TP 37.10 sell 37.10 stop 38.10 TP 35.50. Uh, this is what we should definitely do, guys. Mm. But as I'm saying, I'm not trading a lot. I'm just analyzing the BDC dollar. Uh, the leverage on the BDC dollar is capped, and uh, I'm not into the BDC dollar trading. But I know that a lot of you like my analysis on the BDC dollar, so that is why I'm doing it. But just to let you know, I'm not trading it. Uh, okay, uh, it's always fixed stop loss, 100 pips, but the risk should be like 1%. If you can afford it, then do it. Okay, the BDC dollar here, uh, big spike, probable end of interim. Uh, downtrend, but still the price generally is in downtrend. But from intraday perspective, it can be actually uh, a buy trade here, guys, in the zone. And of course, sell if the price gets a little bit higher, 37.10. And finally, gold sell 13.12.50, uh, stop 13.80, TP 13.00, alternative sell 13.00, stop loss 12.95, TP 13.10. Keep in mind that gold, I mostly trade like uh, uh, London Open Advanced. It's a London Open Advanced module on Camarilla MACD uh, method. So gold is, uh, again, uh, it, it's also good with the MTF, but maybe with London Open Advanced, you will have even more and better signals. You see, mostly gold is ranging. But again, this is the range. For ranging pairs, we go with London Open Breakout because on the London Open Breakout, usually there is an explosion of a trend and then bang, it gets into range. So that is what I mostly do with the, with the uh, gold. Again, 
uh, gold uh, can set up for a sell and buy 13.12 and 13.00. So this is the level where you could actually watch for some potential reversals. And 13.12, according to this range, could be a sell. So wait for that, guys. And yeah, it could happen. This is uh, now uh, I will reroll the slides. You can ask ask questions. So euro dollar, uh, pound dollar, the Australian dollar, the dollar yen, the BTC dollar, and finally gold. The question is uh, euro New Zealand, uh, euro New Zealand. Uh, yeah, this is possible up move, but you see it already happened today here for 40 pips possible. But the thing is that now we will not have a very active session uh, because uh, London close, uh, London closed, London is already closed, uh, New York and now later Wellington session. So this is setting up for a long trade, but I would say a confirmation, better confirmation could be if the price closes above the trend line here, then this would be a confirmation for a long trade. But this looks like a long. Uh, buy, alternative buy on gold. Let me check the slide. Yeah, typo. Thanks, Muki. Uh, Goran, do you think that WTI oil can reject from monthly L3 and start reversal? Oil, let's see. This is downtrend. Yeah, uh, it can happen. It can happen, Goran, especially because of this double bottom here. So if you plan to trade it, you need to put stop loss below monthly at three, but it can happen indeed because we have divergence here, you see? Divergence. So it can go up indeed. Our Sunday, uh, what do you think about WTI and Brent? This is it. Uh, uh, WTI, guys, a possible reversal. Brent, well, not that clear. This is the range. On Brent, I see only, you see, okay, good signals, especially this one. But it's mostly ranging. But yeah, we have good signals here. So now it's a range. On WTI, the downtrend with a potential reversal already happening here. Big divergence here. Uh, silver. Sorry, sorry, wait. Okay, uh, downtrend, but not very, very clear. Uh, you might try with a buy trade, but this could be head and shoulders here. You see, left, head, right, head and shoulders. I'm not sure that you should buy it, really. Generally, silver is good to buy, but like investment, maybe. On these shorter time frames, it's tricky. I don't see a signal from Camarillo Magdiali, so I cannot tell you. Your setup might be okay, but you see, this is actually a sell. It's not a clear sell because we don't have a signal. You see, this was clear uptrend. This was a sell signal, not that very... I, I don't trade silver. So you see, even the signals are not that great like other, other pairs or like other commodities. Not bad, especially when it's a trend. But now we don't have anything clear. So I would, I'm not sure really about it. Not very sure about it indeed. Okay, guys, so that would be it. I mean, if everything is clear, we can call it a day. Again, sign up for more webinars, for seminars, if you can make it. Follow our free webinars buy our methods if you want to invest into something that is quite good i would always advise of course camarilla mcd 
sign up for our ECS Live where we provide trading ideas, clear entries, okay, with stop losses, money management, trade management, and so on. So, yeah, regarding silver, I'm not sure I will do anything here. But guys, yeah, you have a lot other pairs to trade. Let's see, Euro New Zealand could be a good buy also, a good buy trade, long trade. But then again, guys, uh, it's better to wait for major sessions before making any decisions because if you open a trade during very slow active or non-active session, it might reverse when major session kicks in. Next major session is uh, actually uh, uh, Tokyo. Dollar CAD is going up. Uh, we had a long signal and uh, I closed it for 40 pips on ECS Live. So this was the signal that we took. It went 40 pips and we closed it for 40 pips on ECS Live channel. So I think this could go more to the upside provided that this ATR low or at least this Camry level for holds. Uh, if it holds, especially this level here, then uh, we should see more upside Ilya, especially if this trend line is broken here. Okay, actually, if the price closes above daily age for 13, uh, 33, 27, it should go more to the upside. But we uh, we went with 40 pips today. So it's long currently on dollar cat. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all of your comments, guys. Uh, see you soon and talk to you soon. Cheers, everyone. As always, trade safe.